Hello, I'm Steve Linick, the Inspector General for the Department of State and the Broadcasting Board of Governors. For me, being an IG is a chance to serve the public in a unique role. An IG is the only job in the federal executive branch that is truly independent and removed from politics. No one can tell us what to do or not to do in our work. No one can stop us from doing the audits and investigations we think are necessary. We make our findings and recommendations based on wherever the facts lead us, even if some people are unhappy with what we say. An agency head or even a president who wants to fire an IG first has to explain why in writing to Congress first. My own office oversees U.S. government programs and operations worldwide involving more than 75,000 employees and 275 overseas missions along with domestic operations. Apart from Washington, D.C., we have offices in Frankfurt, Germany, Baghdad, Iraq, Kabul, Afghanistan, and Charleston, South Carolina. Our mandate is unique in that we're required by law to regularly inspect or audit all domestic and overseas posts and embassies. And during these inspections, we assess the leadership skills of our diplomats. We evaluate how they implement United States foreign policy. Like all IGs, I'm committed to promoting economy and efficiency and preventing, detecting waste, fraud, and abuse and gross mismanagement. But because our State Department personnel have to work in dangerous places all over the world, a top priority of my office is to help ensure the safety of U.S. diplomatic facilities and personnel around the globe. Since September of 2012, attacks on U.S. diplomatic facilities and personnel in Benghazi, my office has redoubled its efforts related to security, issuing inspection and audit reports, specifically targeting security matters. We're also concerned about the department's use of taxpayer funds and its oversight of contracts, grants, and foreign assistance. Since my arrival at the State Department in 2013, We've identified more than $1.5 billion in potential monetary savings, which includes more than $125 million in investigative recoveries.